The stunning Ulner Golf and Country Club outside Stockholm was the venue for the inaugural G4D Tour at Volvo Car Scandinavian Mixed. The first equal split event seeing some of the top male and female golfers with disability competing for the same prize and on the same course. Setting the standard early on the final day was Julia Bowen. The Australian making light of the par 4 10th here with this measured approach. One spot ahead on the leaderboard in seventh, 23-year-old Jennifer Sraga. Born with achondroplasia, resulting in shorter limbs, the German with a strong showing here in Sweden. Three off the lead overnight and second overall, world number one Kip Poppert made a strong start to his final round. This tee shot here on the par three second, setting the tone for what was to be a stellar battle with fellow G4D winner Juan Postigo. The Spaniard, who was born without much of his right leg and no knee, held the overnight lead and wasn't about to relinquish his advantage easily. Also pushing hard in Sweden was Brendan Lawler. Having won the inaugural G4D Open last month, the Irishman came into this event full of confidence. This bunker shot at the fifth, keeping him within touching distance of the leaders. Playing partner and home favourite Rasmus Lear started the day just four off the lead. Birdie at the third and eighth saw him very much in the mix as the players approached the turn. Round of the day belonged to Curtis Barkley. Four birdies on the way out alongside two bogeys saw the Canadian threaten to overturn his 10-shot overnight disadvantage. In what was turning out to be a thrilling seesaw matchup at the top of the leaderboard, Postigo continued to press Poppet at the top. This approach at the stunning par 3 14th setting up a birdie opportunity. The Spaniard unable to capitalise, to leave him one behind five time G4D winner Poppet. Up ahead, Barkley continued to threaten. Despite birdie birdie finish, he would end the day tied for third spot. One hole behind at the 15th, the lead would change hands once more. Poppet with a tricky putt for par. It wasn't to be as the Spaniard Postigo took immediate advantage. The Abu Dhabi champion from earlier in the year drawing on that valuable experience to take a one-shot lead with three holes to play. Up ahead, Leah was still in with an outside shot at the title. But at the last would see him sign for a final round 75. Not quite enough as he would finish in a tie for third. One shot ahead of Lawler, who also finished strongly. Birdie here at 17, one of three in his inward nine. All of which left Poppet and Postigo in a straight shootout for the title. One shot behind, Poppet, who has cerebral palsy, keeping his cool here with this measured approach to 17. Playing partner Postigo, on the other hand, failing to find the putting surface with his seconds to the penultimate hole, leaving a tricky lie in the greenside bunker. The Spaniard safely out, but by no means guaranteed par. With his four secure, Englishman Poppet watched on as the man from northern Spain failed to convert. So it was all square heading into the last. With both drives splitting the fairway, it was Poppet first to play. A cool head from the 24-year-old. With Postigo's approach just falling short of the green, it was advantage Poppet. Could the Spaniard conjure up some magic at the 18th? The answer, a resounding yes. A stunning hole out birdie to take a one-shot advantage and heap the pressure on his playing partner. This putt for birdie then to force a playoff.
Not to be for the world number one on this occasion then, and Juan Postigo Arce snatching victory in dramatic fashion at Ulna Golf and Country Club. Disappointment for Poppet, but the delight plain to see for the Spaniard. Confirmation then of that one-shot win for Postigo. Poppet in sole possession of second spot with Leah and Barkley tied for third. But it was Postigo's day in the Swedish sun. It was a great battle out there with Keep as always. Um, we enjoy playing together every time. This was my time and I played, I played okay during the week and um, I finally got it back home. I could finish with a chip in birdie that uh, gave me the final lead and that was amazing. A thrilling finale then to the inaugural G4D at Volvo Car Scandinavian Mixed as Juan Postigo Arce claims his second G4D title of the season.